Today I want to talk about Herceptin, uh, really uh, talk about the dangers, the side effects, as well as give you two other ideas when it comes to, uh, when it comes to treatment. Uh, before I begin, uh, down in the description there's a link and if you do click on it, uh, I'm giving away a free video guide about supplements, alternative medicine. Now one of the things that does scare a lot of people, including myself, is cancer because you can kind of strike without warning and just cause tons of damage, uh, possibly death. And Herceptin really is a drug uh, for cancer, um, especially if it's located in the esophagus, throat, uh, the breast, and the stomach. And well, it's really an injection. You inject it once a week or once every three weeks. Um, but the main thing is, does it work? That's what we want to know. And according to WebMD, a study found that adding uh, this drug uh, to, uh, to a year, in a year for with using it with chemotherapy, it improved the person's chance of not dying by 37%. Um, also, the addition of this drug improved a, a 10 year survival rate, so more people are more likely to survive, uh, from 75% to 84%. So it helps a person not die from cancer. That's, that's good. That's good news. That's what it's supposed to do. Um, however, with all these drugs, there's these the fine print you have to check out, right? Like the, the dangers and the side effects, and that's important to know because with many prescription drugs, it solves one thing, but then it creates a problem someplace else, and you have to evaluate it. So what are the dangers and risks? Well, here's the thing. Herceptin works by blocking signals that tell cancer cells to grow, and it stops them from growing. The problem is, well, Herceptin is man-made and also affects other cells too that you need and hurts them. Okay. All right. So, for example, uh, researchers at the Salt Institute um, has shown that this drug damages uh, a, a, a gene called the ERBB2, which really connects to the heart and lungs and damages those organs. That's bad because, well, the heart and lungs is important. Uh, for example, there's a study done at the Journal of American College of Cardiology um, that showed that for every 100 people that took this drug, well, 32 received heart problems. Um, even worse, 42 received heart problems that combined with something known as anthocyclines. That's bad. Um, plus, there's estimates that 40% of the people that take this drug, well, they receive flu-like symptoms. This is stuff like, you know, like a flu, like nausea, uh, a fever, stomach pains, a headache, stuff like that. Um, plus, the drug is very expensive, as well as it gives you a bunch of free radicals as it breaks down. Okay, so those are the pros, those are the cons. It's up to you to decide if you want to use it. But you also might be thinking this, okay, what else do I do? Is there other choices out there? Are there options? And the good news is when it comes to alternative medicine, believe it or not, there really are a ton of choices. Uh, the problem is, is not that many people know about them. And that's probably one of the reasons why I create this video, to kind of let people know about some stuff. Uh, plus, the, the truth is, is you know, doctors, they do get some kickbacks and stuff for uh, mentioning certain prescription drugs. That's the way they, the whole industry is. So let's talk about some of these other choices, and there's a ton. One is herbs, and there's a ton that really can help. Even better, they've got these products out there, supplements, that combine a lot of these herbs that boost your immune system and does fight off cancer and stuff. Uh, but I'll just share one herb with you that I have to talk about. is black human seeds. And it does so many amazing things. Um, also, it really does help with cancer. And I'll show you a study just to kind of prove that so you know that I'm not kind of just, you know, making stuff up. Uh, in Brazil, at the Journal of Medical and Biological Research, scientists uh, created tumors in, in rats, and, and half were given black human seeds, half were not. The group of rats that did not receive black human receipt, seeds had a tumor about it was a 2.5 centimeters. That's how big it was. Now, the group that received the black cumin seeds, their tumor size was a whole lot less. Two-tenths of a centimeter. That, that's a big, big difference there, as you can see, and what black cumin seeds can do. Not just one herb. There's tons of them out there. Um, but let me talk about another idea, too. I'm just going to share another one. And that's something called probiotics, which helps with the digestive system. 
he might be thinking, well, who cares about that? I want to talk about cancer. And here's the thing. 80% of your immune system is in your gut. So there's a big relationship there, not including serotonin in your mood levels. You know, your gut is very important. And I'll just share one study with you. Again, it's proof. In a study by the United States National Library of Medicine, uh, they gave uh, kefir, which is like a milk that has a ton of probiotics um, to, to mice with breast cancer. Uh, the result that the group that took kefir had a delayed tumor growth and increased number of cancer cells that died off, uh, they showed. But here's the thing, even better news, there's something actually out there called prebiotics, which has been proven to be 10 times more effective than probiotics. And that's definitely going to help with cancer. Um, plus, there's lifestyle changes and many other things somebody can do to kind of you know, combat this, this enemy that's plaguing us. So again, I just want to kind of talk about these ideas. If you want more information on, on supplements and alternative medicine, um, I created this whole video guide. And it's all about you know, giving you options on health problems using alternative medicine, herbs, and supplements. I also talk about my own ideas on you know, what products that um, I think are great. I, I, I even compare products back to back. I give you some red flags of, a, of maybe a supplement brand that's not good that you should stay away from and give you a lot of ideas in that regard. Um, so I had a ton of fun making it. I put a lot of effort into it. It's completely free. Um, and you can learn more by just simply clicking on the link uh, below this video. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot for being open minded to come check this out. If you like this video, if you learned something, uh, hit the thumbs up button and have a, a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Bye.